Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to Dr. Isha for today. Our group will present to you about our mini project for human factor engineering. First of all, let me introduce to you our group members. First, we have Muhammad Najmi bin Muhammad Nizam as our group leader. And then, we have Muhammad Aminin bin Muhammad Zulkifli, Muhammad Firman Haikal bin Muhammad Rahim, and myself, Dia Ani Akmal bin Muhammad Anwar. <clears throat> First, introduction. As we know, ergonomic is the science of designing workstations, tools, equipment and jobs techniques to be compatible with human anatomy and physiology in reducing the risk of muscle skeletal disorder, injuries due to ergonomic risk factor. As such, this project was carried out to evaluate and improve the current workstation design by using the ergonomic risk assessment. Based on the scenario, the purpose solution could ease the fatigue issues the workers face and allow them to be productive in their jobs that involve extension of body movements and postures. Hence, an effective workstation design would be expected to provide the workers safety at the workplace and mitigate health issues pertaining to job economics. So, the design outcome should see the workers working comfortably and healthily. Hi, my name is Muhammad Firma Haikal bin Muhammad Rahim. So now I will explain about objective and conclusion. So the first objective is to design and assembly workstation for students who are exposed to work requiring body movement and postures. Next, to evaluate the effectiveness of the workstation design in terms of student productivity, comfort, health, and efficiency. Third, to perform ergonomic risk assessment for the proposed workstation design, human anatomy and physiology. And lastly, to get more efficiency time when do the work at workstation. Assalamualaikum to Dr. Yisa and hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Najimi bin Muhammad Nizam. Today, I will present about methodology in this project. So first is data collection survey. The data collector is to evaluate the speed of the time taken to complete the given work. The task is to install three pins plugs using the sitting or standing method and is divided into several tasks. In this project, we using two different tables. First is a elbow height table and second is low height tables. So in figure number one, the table of data collection survey, we using this table because we want to calculate we want to calculate the times taken when we finish assembly the three pins plugs. So next is a uh, ergonomic risk assessment. In this project, we using rapid upper line assessment RULA. And next is a design analysis. In this project, we using Kata software because this software carry out the evaluation of the ergonomic design and analysis. Several information was required in order to display the right measurement of the workbench, and the analysis was conducted. On the human body measurement, human activity, and human builder. That's why we're using Kata software because that is make us easy to calculate the ruler in this project. So next, I will tell about procedure for low height tables. So first step, this is a three pins plug with a Phillips screwdriver to assemble the three pins plug by the student at the workstation. Second step, to assemble the screw by using Phillips screwdriver at the workstation table. And third step, assembly process by the student at the workstation to assemble the three pins plugs by using low height table with a two position by standing on a chair and standing to complete the assemble. The last step, the three pins plugs already finished assembled by the student. The second procedure is about elbow height table. The first step, this is a three pins plugs with a Phillips screwdriver to assemble the three pins plugs by the student at the workstation. Second step, to assemble the screw by using Phillips screwdriver at the workstation table. Third step, assembly process by the student at the workstation to assemble the three pins plugs by using elbow height table with a two position standing on the chair and standing to complete the assemble. And the last step, the three pins plugs already finished assembled by the student. That, that's all about methodology in this project. Assalamualaikum and hi. Uh, my name is Aminin. I will uh, share with you about the Katia and Rula result for this project. 
Firstly, for the test one, for this situation, uh, this is the Katia we designed from the situation, and this is the ruler analysis for this test. Firstly, for the side, we choose right. For the posture, we choose intermittent because of the is not static, and we take at the arm supported uh, and also leaning and check balance for the load we put uh, 100 gram for the load and this is for the detail for the ruler firstly for the forearm we can see yellow is the posture is not very good wrist also not very good orange one and lastly is leg the red one is the very bad posture next we go to the ergonomic analysis for test one firstly is poor posture because of standing posture next pain and fatigue long period work this is also because of the standing posture uh, natural standing position this is good because of its natural and next arm and neck posture need improvement you can see the neck is uh, we have to go down and the arm what not leaning on the table or something so the, this posture actually for the ergonomic analysis will wear the student leg for the long period time working Next, we go to the test for test 2. For this situation, sitting on the low high table. This is the design of the Katia. This is the ruler analysis. Same. The setting is same. And you can see the detail we got is the upper arm is 1. Quite good. And the forearm. The forearm is two yellow because of the context stress we got here for the ergonomic analysis for test two we can say that the it is a good posture for working it can consistent work in the long period and it also have a backrest position and the arm and neck posture need improvement is not good also not bad but it has to be improvement it's better but it is better than the test one this is improvement for the test one and the arm is contact stress with the table which is not very good enough next we go through the test three test three for this situation uh, elbow height table with stand position this is the um, design at the Katia. This is the ruler we got from this position. You can see the also same the forearm and wrist not very bad and not very good. The leg also not very good. Neck, trunk and leg also not very good because of the we can see the design human will the neck the head will go down a bit a little bit for the ergonomic analysis for test 3 this is a poor posture example for the working workstation at the workstation like this next is pain and fatigue for long period because of the standing position same is neutral standing position arm um, and neck posture need improvement and it will wear the student leg but for the standing position at the elbow height table the arm will contact stress with the table which is not very good for the test for you can see the situation at the sitting position at the elbow height table this is the Katia design for this test 
this is the ruler analysis you can see the for arm is yellow is not very good because of the context stress and for the ergonomic analysis for test four is uh, is a good posture it can consistent work in long period yes you can say that this is the most ergonomic position among this four and the arm posture need improvement and the arm also have a contact stress with the table which is not good enough but this test for is uh, improvement for the test 3 which is good okay. when we uh, compete with test for test 3 next for experimental data and results as you can see we have done four tests to the student which is test 1 and test 2 with the low height table and test 3 and test 4 with elbow height table. For test 1, the student position is standing. The time taken for the student to complete the assembly process is 35.46 seconds and the final ruler score is 3. For test 2, we change the student's position which is the student will sitting for this test and the time taken for the student to complete the process is 29.37 and the final ruler score is 2. For test 3 and test 4, we change to the elbow height table. For test 3, the student is standing but we can see that the time taken for the student to complete the process is 17.15 seconds which is quite faster than the previous test but the ruler score is still 3. And for the last test, the students, we give, we give to the students and we can see that the, the time taken for the student to complete the process is 15.05 and the final ruler score is 2. So, we can conclude that in test 1, the student need to bend his head while working. The students, the students also need to stand for a long period of time which is, we can see in the figure, the upper arm is overstretched and also the students working in an awkward position. So, it may cause fatigue and numbness that, affect, that will affect the productivity. For test 2, we give chair to the students. The student, we can see the student is working in comfortable posture. So, we success to improve the time taken to complete the process. We also reduce the ruler score and increase the productivity. For test 3 and 4, for test 3, we change to different high table. We can see that the students is more com we can see that the students is in more comfort posture than test 1 and test 2. We also get the data that the time taken to complete the process is improved, but still the student needs to stand for a long period of time. So they so this may cause fatigue and numbness to the student and also may affect the productivity. And for the last test, we give chair to the students that match with the table side. You can see that the student is working in more comfortable posture, and we achieve to improve the time taken to complete the process. And also, we achieve to reduce the ruler score from 3 to 2, and we achieve with success to increase the productivity. That's all for me. Thank you. For conclusion, we need to base on objective. So, for the first objective, to design an assembly workstation for industrial students who are exposed to work requiring body movement and posture. So, the key result here is we using the ruler score. The test one is three, test two is two, test three and test three, test three is three and test four is two. So we can conclude that to last score that acceptable is two, which are test two and test four, but test four has ergonomic posture better than test two. So for the second objective, to evaluate the effectiveness of the workstation design in terms of student productivity, comfort and health and efficiency. 
So here we design the chat. So the student concluded that to achieve effectiveness in terms of student productivity, comfort, health, and efficiency in assembly process, the student designed a chair that's suitable to table height. So for the third objective, to perform ergonomic risk assessment for the purpose of workstation design human anatomy and physiology. So the key result same we, we, we use the ruler score. So for the test one is three, test two is two, test three is three and test four is two. So using ruler and reba, the study successfully identified ergonomic risk factors in the workstation based on the scores. So ergonomic accommodated workers fitting with the environment, information, tasks and equipment that led to the employee's moral improvement achieve a better workplace, enhance quality and reduce error to increase the productivity. So the last objective is to get more efficiency time when do the work at workstation. So the time taken for test one is 35.46 seconds. For test two is the 29.37 seconds. For test three is 17.15 seconds. And test for is 15.05 seconds. So the student concluded that sitting is more efficient than standing while complete the assembly process because of the sitting posture is more ergonomic than standing posture. Thank you.